The Modigliani retrospective here at Tate Modern takes you through the whole range of Modigliani's work. And when we go into the exhibition, we see paintings, we see sculpture, we see drawings by one of the most important artists of the 20th century. And yet, through the virtual reality, we start to get a real sense of environment. Part of the Modigliani exhibition will be a virtual reality experience where they're recreating Modigliani's studio from 1919. You get that kind of gut feeling understanding that you don't necessarily get from reading about it or just looking at it uh, in sort of 2D pictures. Understanding art is about understanding the painter and the paintings and also the kind of historical and social context. And the opportunity we have with virtual reality and for this experience has been to try and deliver that in a very short experience that gets you really closer to those details. It's amazing how many different departments at Tate it's touched on. So it's been collaboration across the organisation and also with Preloaded and with HTC. We started with a blank canvas and incrementally we've come to understand and build a picture about Modigliani I don't think people have necessarily seen before. We really have paid a great attention to historical detail in this experience. Whether that's from our researcher in Paris, Vincent Gilles, looking at what a stove should look like at that moment, to our co-curator in Milan, Simonetta Fracelli, looking at new Italian texts and bringing that material in. Everything you see in the experience, everything that you kind of like interact with, everything that, you know, from the, the light coming through the whitewashed windows, through to the, you know, the siding tins, to the colours of the palette, are all completely kind of accurate. The space itself, as a studio, was never actually visited by anyone alive today. Working with the VR team has been an incredible experience for me, because I've been very impressed with the way that they can take something that's 100 years old and then recreate it in a 21st century virtual setting. The thing I enjoyed most was bringing the space to life. There were over 60 objects within the scene and each model was taken from uh, research and first-hand accounts. Uh, the technical research also enabled us to inform the markings on the canvas itself, um, to be able to inform the, the brush strokes and how you see that and how the light actually reflects on, on the surface of the model. We have done an x-ray of the canvas and the stretcher. We've also looked at it in infrared and then our conservation scientist Joyce Townsend has done analysis of pigments and media to work out exactly what he used. The Ochre Atelier is an integral part of the exhibition. It does enhance the conclusions that you draw. The sort of forensic level of historical research that's gone into this can really offer depth and accuracy and, and bring something else to the table. This has been something really new for us and it's been exciting to push those boundaries.